What's up, boys? We're back again for more first reactions to songs. And what do you got for me today, Dan? I'm always excited when you got a song because uh, we actually don't know what we're playing, which is kind of cool. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, we don't even. I mean, maybe we might have checked with each other, like, "Hey, have you ever heard this?" Just to get an idea. Oh, like, your wife's wondering what you're doing. I'm working, babe. Come on, <laughs> stop texting during the show. But <laughs> anyways, I think this is one that Chris has been anticipating since we started doing this first reaction. Um, you know, like. Like just growing up around our friend group, you know this. This you probably heard of me and a couple of the guys talk about this band for years. And um, you know, you, I don't know if you've probably never taken the. You know what's funny when you're bringing that up? This reaction videos was actually brought up with this band because remember I was like, I've never heard this band before. Oh, when we were talking about our top fav our favorite albums. Yeah, and I was like, I've never heard this band before. We should react to. Be listening to them. That's where you got the idea. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I know I like you were saying with the friends group, to be honest, these guys really love this band, but I'm that type of guy, you know me. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll listen to it. And I just never listen to it. <laughs> but now I'm finally gonna have to listen to them. Yeah, now you have no choice. So the band we're talking about today is the Smiths. Uh yeah, favorite of uh of uh me and a couple of the other guys in our friend group. And uh, you know, just one of my favorite bands of all time, you know, instrumental, instrumental, instrumentally and lyrically, just a very impressive group. Um, in my opinion, the, the greatest group of the '80s. But I shouldn't even say that. There's no point in saying greatest group, whatever. One of the best group acts of the '80s. Um, but yeah, this is for Chris's first reaction to the Smiths. I had a really hard time deciding what song, you know. Um, uh, like part of me wanted to put "How Soon Is Now," but I thought maybe eh, guitar is a little too rocky. It doesn't it's not a good representation of all their music. Then I thought, oh, maybe I'll play this charming man. Uh, I don't know. So I'm good. The song I'm gonna go with for Chris today is "There Is a Light That Never Goes Out." It's one of their biggest hits. Um, I'm still not sure if I if this is the song to show you for the first one. Well, like anything, if you guys want me to react to a different Smith song, because I'm not gonna go home and listen to the Smiths. Maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I won't. you will. Maybe you'll hear this. Maybe, maybe you'll maybe hear this song. And you're like, I'm gonna go home and listen to nothing. But yeah. the Smiths. But if you guys <laughs> think um, there's another song that Dan should have picked for me, make sure you put it in the comments, and we'll be sure to get back to it because we also got a comment that someone wants us to react to more Lana. Oh, so, okay. So okay. we're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to pick another Lana pick song. another Lana song, okay. So Dan, let's hear what song you got. Okay, here is uh, There Is A Light That Never Goes Out off the Smiths uh, classic album, uh, The Queen Is Dead. Okay. And this is what, uh, English? Yes. Take me out to this is so far. I was expecting them to be very slow. Oh, no, it's going to be pretty upbeat in time. But the lyrics are very impressive. I never, never want to go home because I haven't got one anymore. Take me out tonight. Oh, this is pretty good, actually. This is nice. Nice. You know I'm more of a punk rocky kind of guy. Yeah. Oh, this is not bad. I got a couple questions after, but I wanted to listen to it first. I thought, oh God, my chance has come at last. But then a strange fear gripped me and I just couldn't pass. I like that instrumental there. I haven't got one for long. Oh, I haven't got one. 
Oh, maybe I should have listened to them back in high school. Good. Yeah, so basically, just being built in the airsoft. So yeah. I want to ask before, like, uh, that was really good. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting like a slower '60s style North, right. like North American, like our style kind of music, like during the Vietnam War kind of. No, song. definitely more like new wave. Yeah, I thought that's what I was gonna hear. That's why I didn't think I was gonna like it that much. Right, right. But let me ask you something because I'm not too into that european style rock the difference between our rock in north america versus the, uh, this type of rock is that the style more in europe is this type of rock because our rock's a little different it's no? it's it's tough it's 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 where these <laughs> genres what direction these genres went influence wise leading into the 80s kind of like a lot of these bands you know these new wave bands they're influenced by the early wave of punk bands yeah so the u.s and england both had their first wave of punk bands in the 70s some different differences but mostly similar in the fact that you know heavy guitars all really yeah. tough raw punk rocky i think in 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 england moving into the 80s a lot of the punk inspired music moved towards moved towards new wave and post-punk stuff that involved more like higher production and electronics and stuff, and, and some pop um, pop um, influences as well. And in the states, it moved more towards like hardcore. Yeah, that's that's why I'm feeling like the difference yeah. of what I'm used to hearing versus you know over here. Like obviously later on, you got Oasis and all those yeah. type of bands. Yeah, I think when this stuff got popular, got so popular later on, it bled back into influencing American music into the 90s, I think, too, a little bit. And yeah, you definitely hear bands like Oasis in these bands, like yeah. uh, bands of the time from England, you know, The Smiths, Jesus and Mary Chain, all these bands that came out of England in the 80s and late 70s and stuff. But uh, yeah, my, I was just really torn on what song to play you because that's like considered one of their best songs, one of their most popular songs, but it's just... Morrissey is such a great lyricist, and Johnny yes. is such a great guitar player that I just wasn't sure if that song was a great example of both those things, his lyrics and their guitar player. Yeah, I understand that, but I, I loved it. I thought the production was good. I liked the differences in the instrumentals. Um, the lyrics were nice. The you know the the singer how he actually you know hits you with his lyrics. He has very neat voice. It's very 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 good. Um, it, it's definitely a band I wouldn't mind checking more of. But I'll wait to react to more because, uh, you know, if you guys out there like Dan struggling to pick a song, yeah. you may know a song that would be perfect for me to react to or maybe your favorite song. I don't mind reacting to them. So, But right now, I really didn't think, like I said, I didn't think I was going to like it. I thought it was going to be more of that um, 60s, 70s style, um, North American style, kind of soft, yeah, slow. That's why when I, when I first started, I'm like, oh, this is actually not yeah, as slow as I thought. Than yeah, than expected. Um, no. I enjoyed it actually. That's my first time actually hearing the Smiths after hearing these guys brag Go about on, though on about for years, years and years and years. <laughs> Chris, you stop listening to Limp Biscuit and listen to the Smiths. <laughs> so uh, no, uh, always guys, Dan, plug them and you know make sure you support them and download their stuff. Yeah, man, support the Smiths. Even though uh, I love Morris, even though he's a fucking prick, and uh, <laughs> is he still alive? Oh yeah, he's still okay. alive. He's out there still pissing people off left, right, and center. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I go listen to Smiths and let me know in the comments if I fucked up. I should play their song. I was thinking maybe Big Mouth Strikes again. Maybe this Charming Man. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I should play a different song. All right, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>